We've done a series of real-world evidence evaluations for looking at patients with uh, different stages of advanced prostate cancer, and this specifically, what we're reporting on at, at ASCO GU this year is in the metastatic castration sensitive prostate cancer group, uh, which we have reported on before, but we've expanded the cohort as time's gone on. Uh, and this is a real-world evidence uh, uh, data set that's taken from a large group of, a large number of community urology groups, and data extracted from the electronic medical record and uh, we really do a lot to only use patients who we can be very sure that they have castration sensitive disease and that we have enough data to evaluate what their response was when they went on therapy. So essentially we identify patients starting on either uh, apalutamide or enzalutamide in the metastatic castration sensitive prostate cancer space and then see what their PSA does. Since PSA is a very uh, generally very findable uh, discrete variable in the electronic medical record, it's something that we can, we can discover. But but also very importantly is there's very good uh, multiple different studies in the past that have shown the benefit of not only a rapid but a deep response to uh, therapy based off of a PSA response. So we're looking specifically in this study at the, patient, the percentage of patients getting a PSA 90, so a 90% reduction in their PSA after institution of therapy, and, and seeing how quickly they get there. And what's been remarkable is when we look at the different agents, we've seen, we've seen this now in a series of, of a number of different uh, of, uh, looks at, at this data set, but as it's grown, as I said, we've seen more and more, um, we feel more and more confident about it. Uh, but we see this separation where you see an earlier and deeper response in a PSA uh, to patients on apalutamide compared to those getting enzalutamide. So it's, you know, it's a really interesting uh, way to look at this, and I think that all the advances that we've had is frustrating sometimes that it is to deal with electronic medical records. To be able to get to some of this data and see it is, is uh, very helpful and, and certainly can help sometimes inform clinical practice, uh, but also just you know, gets us to ask better questions.